Hey, this is Scott at Cedar Workshop, and I'm trying another go at the wood stove generator. So what I've done is I've sandwiched a piece of, what's this, C-channel, and then I got the wafer, I got a piece of uh, aluminum plate, and then the wafer, and then the bar, and then I've used these screws here to pinch it down. And then I just tied all the ends together, positive and negative, on both sides. So what I decided to do, I'm going to make this temporary uh, fin system for the cooling part. It's just composed of one big piece of C-channel here, and then a little one that's placed inside. I'll use this nifty stuff called Bond-Aid. It's like this putty. You mix it together, it's like a two-part putty, you mix it together with your hands, you make a, like a little snake, put it to the bottom of the piece of aluminum. Yeah, this is what I did when I put it in my vise. Here's the piece here, here's that uh, kind of putty stuff, you see a bit of it squishing out. And I put this part over and then I just cranked it up to get a nice squish there. And uh, I'll give it 20 minutes, then I'll take it out and we'll see how it turned out. Kind of gushed out the side there, not too pretty, but it's pretty secure. So that's that's all that matters to me right now. So I'm gonna put these two pieces on the bar. I would say the fins were a success. Got up to five volts, it's a good sign. So I think what the next step is, I'm gonna try taking these fins off. Cause I still think water cooling is the way to go to get this more cooler or, or to get the voltage higher if I can keep this side cooler. So the reason for this size is I'll show you the container it's going to go on. I mentioned this earlier I got um, a 50 caliber ammo box I picked up at the uh, army surplus store. So this is a smaller box. Uh, I know they come in different sizes. And the original plan was to mount everything on the one side here. So this part would be like something like that. Except for that piece wouldn't be sticking on there. So this is the hot side and be mounted to the box. So that was the original plan. Thought was I could then use this next to a campfire and uh, and that kind of thing. But what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to open up the lid. And hopefully you can see that. I'll just turn it sideways. And then this whole unit here will sit inside. I get a different camera angle on this later in a second. So it's going to sit in there. It's a nice little handy box. That's why I like that C-channel aluminum on the bottom. It means the modules won't be sitting right on the bottom. And then I'll have my cooling apparatus here. And a little bit further up, I'll have my batteries or whatever. Um, the plan is I can hopefully uh, charge 12 volt batteries, but since I'm only getting five volts with these, TEC modules, tech modules, I might only be able to charge like a cell phone, but that's still fine. So when everything's in this uh, little box, it'll be all nicely sealed up. 
and I could take it camping and like put it on like a wood stove uh, when you're camping like if you're like in a tent especially like winter time or I could use this up at our cabin so I still got some more messing around um, I want to get the voltage up higher I've purchased some TEG which is thermoelectric generator modules and they're um, rated for a higher temperature and they should do a much better job so still waiting for those to come in the mail and uh, I'll keep you posted on the progress thanks for watching